Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we already did the top five Pokemon ROM hacks, and now it is time for the top five Pokemon fan games of 2021. Now, if any of the games on this list interest you, the link to their download links will be in the description section below. If you guys like what you see, be sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel for some more Pokemon content, as well as while you're down in the description, be sure to, I don't know, you know, follow me on these social media sites. Thank you. Now, I haven't done these in a while, so excuse the hit hiccups in the commentary it's been a long time i've actually been taking a break from doing these only because i feel like the rom hack and fan game scenes have kind of been dry the last two or three years but now that the games are finally coming out and finally being done why not talk about them now so let's get up into it with the top five let's go number five on the list is actually created by an og fan game developer atomic reactor and that is pokemon infinity i'm gonna keep it a stack with you if the gameplay you see doesn't impress you something's wrong with you you. this game looks amazing it looks refreshing it looks brand new i don't know if he's using custom tile sets that he made himself or if he's using something that i haven't seen before but for the most part this game just looks amazing as of right now there is a decent sized demo version that you can actually play the official completed version is actually coming out later either this year or early 2022 maybe it actually has new forms new evolutions for pokemon as well as old pokemon from his old family game called pokemon obsidian and i'm not gonna lie to you if he's putting what he showed me in the dms dude i don't know dog this might be one of the game of the years for pokemon fan games maybe top three top one next year who knows but definitely be on the lookout for pokemon infinity definitely go check this out go download it go play the demo it is an amazing game number four on the list goes to a game that i did not expect to love as much as i do and that is pokemon desolation desolation actually follows the same formula as rejuvenation and reborn in terms of style overall but thankfully for desolation it's not as convoluted the story is very straightforward there aren't that many characters you can get confused with it's a very concise story and it's a really fun game it's not too hard but it's also not an easy game to play at all pokemon up to gen 7 are inside the game obviously in later updates gen 8 pokemon and gen 8 features will be given there are eight starter pokemon as well as new songs added to the game there's new mega evolutions that aren't officially released as of right now there are seven gems in the current release but obviously as the game continues there probably will be more for sure and there's a reputation system in the game which basically makes it to where your decisions in the game and who you're close with matters to the overall endings of the game which you heard me right there are multiple endings in this game which honestly makes it seem a lot more like an rpg than a pokemon game unfortunately for me though i got the bad ending in this game but honestly the bad ending still felt complete to me and the story was just so good overall that i don't even mind me getting the bad ending and i don't know if you probably go watch somebody else's playthrough where they get the other two or three endings Endings. it's really really cool to go see how everything plays out and honestly bro it's the fun game bro you have to play it honestly we're in the top three baby and number three on the list is pokemon aurelian aurelian i want you to know it's been a month now i still do not know how to say this correctly anyway aurelian features a lot of pokemon pokemon from sword and shield even not every pokemon is obtainable in this game unfortunately it has like a pokedex of like 400 plus double battles are like the main form of battle in this game with mega evolution as well legendary pokemon aren't like rarities they're actual pokemon trainers with legendary pokemon the creator actually updated a lot of the move pools of pretty much all the pokemon included in the game there's multiple endings which is crazy there's also new chromian forms there's g maxing in the game and the story isn't like anything special i'd say it's a very surface level story especially when compared to a lot of the stuff that's on this list right now and it's just a really simple way to play a pokemon fan game it's like it's nothing big but it's also nothing to like you know oh it's the regular pokemon like no nah, it's it's actually a really really good game you have to go check it out and there's also a planned normal slash hard mode difficulty option that you can choose from which is actually going to be really really cool to see in the future number two on the list goes to pokemon rejuvenation specifically the version 13 of pokemon rejuvenation which is actually the most ideal way to play this game because for those of you who are new to this channel rejuvenation is actually one of the longest running 
running series on this channel i think it actually just passed reborn in terms of total episode parts honestly and the game has been through multiple updates multiple graphic updates a lot of modernization has been done to the game like version 13 is so different than the version that i played back in like 2015 2014 you have to check it out if you're one of those people that are intimidated by how long these games can get or are one of those people that are impatient when it comes to how long it takes for these games to update and you really want to get into like the nitty-gritty of the story do not worry rejuvenation version 13 is the way to go because it actually finishes a humongous chunk of the story arc that was introduced back in like version 10 as well as clears up a lot of things from earlier in the game and so now we're at a point in the story where at this point it all just depends on what happens in the next big war arc that is coming really soon. As of right now, there are 24 starters that you can actually choose from all the way up to 8th gen. All 898 Pokemon can be found in the game. They took the field effects system from Pokemon Reborn and added more. The AI is hard, Mega Evolutions inside of the game. There's like 80 hours of gameplay plus side quests. So all that together, you're looking at about maybe 100 hours worth of gameplay. The current version goes up to 15 of the 18 gems. But like I said, the story is the big deciding factor here for that. So at this point in time, the 15th gem is where the story pretty much stops doing its info dumping. And now we're at a point now, like I said, in the story where it all just depends on what happens coming up next in regards to the future of the characters they introduce inside of the game. And the AI is no joke. The AI is actually really, really smart. The game is really challenging, really difficult. There are difficulty options if it's too easy for you on normal. There's also custom music and remixes from a lot of channels inside of the Pokemon community such as Glitch City, Zoomy, Guitar Hero, and much, much more. And for the shiny heads, there are new customized shiny Pokemon forms as well as an increased shiny rate. There's so much more to this game than just that. I also love the dialogue between the characters, dude. It honestly has gotten so much better when you compare version 13 to any other previous version. It has like a shonen anime-esque style of writing, but it's also deeper than any shonen. It tackles a lot of themes that I think Reborn kind of falls off on. And the characters are honestly the best thing about this game. If you're one of those people that are into stories and stuff like that, honestly, play Rejuvenation. You know, if, you, if you're impatient, play Rejuvenation version. 13 specifically and i promise you come back to this video and tell me i was right <laughs> tell, tell me i was right because they they playing with me and now we're finally here with number one on the list pokemon xenoverse i think the best thing about pokemon xenoverse is the fact that they have a lot of new stuff added to the game like they have these xenoverse forms and honestly dude they're really really good and really well designed as well this is like the ultimate pokemon fan service game let me just say if you're a fan of johto you were eating in this game trust me but also if you're a fan of new pokemon you're you're eating in this game as well the variety in this game is massive and the story is actually really really good now i wouldn't say it's dark per se like rejuvenation or desolation but it's a very good surface level to the point story that it's not like oh my god it's not dragging on and it's not boring all the characters are really charming i don't know if anybody remembers pokemon chronicles the first like two or three episodes where it was jimmy or gold in his adventure it basically feels like a long anime version of that but you're playing it and it's really fun my favorite character from xenoverse actually is the xenoverse gengar he is a hilarious character if you have not seen him honestly the way the legendary pokemon are caught as well as the official legendary pokemon of the game look cool the game is also being frequently updated it actually just got a xenoverse grid ninja and mega raikou and mega suicune and mega ante just recently and there are three more dlc expansions planned for the after game now this game isn't the most competitive it's actually a very casual game but i don't think it's anything too difficult for them to come in and basically work on the ai and make sure that the ai is as smart as let's say rejuvenation or reborn and they also have new typing so like it's its own balanced meta in a way you know but that is pokemon xeno Universe, aka number one pokemon fan game of 2021 and that's it for our top five pokemon fan games of 2021 honestly dude you should definitely go check out every single game listed 
in this video like i said before in the beginning links will be in the description section below as well as my social media links definitely be sure to go check them out make sure you leave a like a comment and subscribe as it does help the channel as well as show show support to them as well make sure you subscribe for some more pokemon content if you're interested and i will see you guys in the next next year i guess yeah 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 okay cool there you go <laughs> i don't know why yeah, let's go man